Hey there, sports fans and car enthusiasts. Welcome to the channel. I've had a lot of luck with the holiday packs, value packs, fun packs lately. You know, a lot of times they're cards that are just repacked by individual sellers and putting some cellophane and, you know, dusted off and pretty. But I've had, like I said, a few hits lately. As long as I don't spend a whole lot of money on them, like I didn't spend a ton of money on this one. I believe I spent, I think it was $50. I think it was $50 on this one, so not a terrible investment, but uh, the 1966 Tops value pack, who knows if there's anything in here, uh, you know, some major cards from, from this year of Tops, you know, a 66 Mantle would be great, so would a Rose, Ernie Banks, Clemente, Hank Aaron, Joe Morgan, Brooks Robinson, Roger Maris, great rookie cards in this set too, Jim Palmer, Fergie Jenkins, Don Sutton. Will we find any of these in here? Who knows? Probably not, but I'm still willing to try. For 50 bucks, we're going in right now. All right, folks, here we are. The 1966 value pack, I believe it was going to be 15 cards in there, 5 cards a panel. It could be 12, 4 cards a panel. I can't remember exactly how these are. Odds of us finding anything good in here, next to nothing. But like I said, I've had some decent luck with some of these before. So we're going to clip in here and see if we can find lightning in a bottle. So... I've cut open this first panel. These might... Nope, these are not in additional cellophane, so let's see. These are in pretty nice condition, though, I will say, for 66s. Jose Pagan leads us off on the front, as you saw on the front of the card. Behind Jose Pagan, we have Tom Satriano with the Angels. Very, very square head there. I love that. Again, really nice condition of these cards. Just looking at the backs of these. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder. Yeah, no. I was just looking to see if those were reprints at all, but it doesn't. Looks like it might be actually legit, but it looks a little glossy. Juan Satriano, Jose Santiago follows him, the Red Sox. Behind him, Cap Peterson with the Giants. And on the back, Jim Paglironi. There's what the backs of these cards look like. These feel almost a little bit bright, but like this one especially. But why would you reprint this? This one looks legit. That almost looks too sharp. But no, I think it's... Oh, the 66s are always difficult to judge for me. Um, I know some of them can be very bright. I've had the question on some cards I've had graded with very bright backs on the 66. Why well, not that I've had graded, but that I've bought in graded condition. And I thought looked a little suspect, but they came back as graded as authentic. So you never know. All right. 66 Felipe Alou on the front of this. Behind him, Zoyo Versailles. Zoilo of Versailles, the Twins. After that, Ken Hamlin with the Senators. Behind Ken, we have Roland Sheldon with the A's. And the one on the back is Joe Nosick of the Twins. There you go. All right, on the front of this is a somewhat star player and Dave McNally. He was a great pitcher with the Orioles for many, many years. I don't think this card is worth a ton, but it's, I think it's more than what a common value would be. Of course, now I'm having a really difficult time cutting into this last panel here without messing the cards up and get them out nice and easy. There we go. So Dave McNally does lead us off. He was on the front here. Behind him is Ralph Terry. We'll look at the back of the McNally. There we go. Yep, that one's got 
A nice little stain there at the top. I don't know if you can see it. Looks like a gum stain. I hope that's gum. <laughs> it's his uh, third year card, fourth year card, I think, for McNally. Might be worth about 10 bucks, Maybe 5 to 10 bucks. I don't know. Not a whole lot. Ralph Terry behind him, like I said, with the Indians. Then Mike De La Hose with the Braves. After him, we have Ken Henderson with the Giants. And our back card is Aubrey Gatewood, so not much there. And look how the brightness difference there in some of these. Always struck me as weird. This is uh, Ken Henderson's rookie card, by the way, so that's not a not a bad hit. I will check that out in my price guide. I don't, you know, no major hits in here from a super value perspective, but that might be worth a, you know, a few extra bucks. That and McNally might be the two wins out of here. But let me know if you guys see anything else in here that I missed as a as a as a big miss, like this Felipe Alou. Could be a nice one. It's his uh tenth eighth or ninth year card maybe. It could have a little bit a little bit of value to it. But uh, those three look like the best ones that we've pulled from this value pack of 1966 tops. So there you go, folks. Let me know what you think. Uh, if you spot anything in there that uh, you find odd, let me know. If you spot anything there I missed, let me know. Otherwise, generally, just uh, if you enjoyed this video, please give a like. And if you haven't subscribed already, please be sure to do so. Lots of plenty, lots more videos just like this coming on the way. Hey folks, so uh, just a quick update on this one. The only card of any significant value actually is the Zoilo Versailles in here, largely because it's a somewhat high number, 400. This card is about eight, $8 or so. The rest of the cards that you saw in the 66 packs were anywhere between $1.50 and 450 or so. So just want to let everybody know that. Cheers. So until next time, take care. Have a good one.